how to hold the grip it's very simple that the way you are shaking hand with someone so same thing this is this is a squash racket this is a squash racket and you're gonna be thinking this is someone else's hand and I'm shaking hand with the other person but make sure because most of the time people hold the racket like this and this is totally wrong so you have to hold racket with a finger based grip means like it, your fingers controlling the racket your fingers need to control the racket that's how you're not squeezing the racket too tight if the racket you're holding too tight it can be a problem for your wrist so make sure when you hold the racket it need to be a very relax relax you holding the racket and you can maneuver your grip anywhere and you can turn your wrist anywhere so make sure when you hold the racket your racket need to be open racket face on the forehand side and if you turn a little bit this wrist it becoming your back end so when your racket face is ready you can have a very nice swing from both sides so when i say finger based grip means the, these three fingers can control most of the time your racket your racket and this thumb this thumb and index finger so you have to give a little bit gap in this index finger you can see a little bit gap here so when you hold the racket good when you hold the racket right especially with the kids and I'm gonna teach you how to improve kids level and improve their wrist work because wrist is the most important thing in uh, in squash because most when you are growing up when you're going to the next level when you're improving your squash if your wrist is weak if your wrist don't have power because most of the time when you are moving in the front court you have to have the very